Hello my little magpies, I hope you're ready to get your swoop on, I know I sure am. I've spent literally all day playing around with audio settings trying to get things right. I have no idea if this is going to sound any better, but I was like, fuck it, we'll do it live. So, here we are. We are playing some Civilization VI to blow off some steam, and this is indeed a very special game for me. I have a long, long history with this game, in fact I can draw a direct correlation, a direct line between me playing this game as a child and my decision to adopt studying history as a kind of professional bent. <coughs> oh, pardon me, just had a pizza. Grease sticks to your throat, you know? So anyway, playing this game was a ch changing point in my life. The questions that it made me ask my parents fundamentally changed my view of the world. If I was deciding to decide who I wanted to play as and I'd be like, Mom, who are the Aztecs? Inevitably it would lead to a conversation about colonialism, genocide and reconciliation. And if I'm deciding what I want to build next on my turn, if I want to know whether I should invest like 30 turns into building this wonder, I'll be like, Mom, what is the Manhattan Project? Inevitably, it leads to a conversation about World War II and my grandfather's role in it, about Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Cold War, mutually assured destruction, and the potential for nuclear annihilation at any point. For this game, uh, just headbutted my microphone, I don't know if you could hear that. This game is a beautiful example of the value of video games as teaching aids and how they can comprehensively bring good to the world. So anyway, I don't want to go on forever. I'll have some, um, I'll probably have some uh, text pop up on screen here showing you what mods I've got and my gameplay settings. I am playing as Australia here. Get some of that up, yeah. Dinky die. Hooroo. All right, let's get into it. So, our story begins with this small tribe of peoples who, driven by their ongoing conflict with the other native peoples on the eastern seaboard of the southern continent known as Terra Australis, are driven to cross the river and settle in the forest land, at the edge of what was to become their new homeland. Little do these people know, however, that forces beyond their ability to comprehend beyond the stars and beneath the ocean see their progress and lay out a path for them that is up to them do they take. So what is the future of these, this upstart civilization? Shall they arise to achieve the destiny proffered to them? or? Shall they fall? A footnote in the annals of history, discarded like the stone of Ozymandias in the ruins of empire. Let's get going, swoop swoop. Alright. So, I love this uh, display, this uh, selection of fish right here, by the way. That is a decent starting spot. So this guy, I want him to head north, looking for, well, looking for exactly that, tribal villages. I also wanted to get into the tip of Cape York to uh, discover the um, next continent. So I could have settled here, but I've played this map before and I know that this spot gives me a better distribution for uh, getting all my cities in. So I can settle there, I got one, two, three spaces and then I can settle there. Alright, let's go. Europe is going to be an absolute shit fight at the start of the game. Um, we're probably going to have people getting defeated every which way because, well, the game contains a lot of European factions and Europe is only so big, you know. But down here, we have a whole continent. As long as we can keep the Maori off our east coast and the Indonesian off our north coast. All right. I know what I want here. Give me Void Singers. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, that's good too. Alright. So. 
discovering ancient scrolls in this village. Speaking of an ancient religion of creatures beyond our ability to understand who live beneath the ocean. We adopt a class, a priestly class, who study our greater place in the universe. And we immediately get to work creating a monument to commemorate this monumental moment. Now, we'll go for astrology too, since we are focused upon the sea and the stars. <coughs> oh, note to self, no greasy food before stream again, uh, before video rather. I do intend to stream, but the um, the kangaroos that carry the internet signals down in Australia, I need to train them to go a little bit faster, you know? Organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, think of it as a building block. So we've now discovered the largest living organism on the planet, the Great Barrier Reef that instills our people with a sense that life can exist in greater forms than they are aware of. Also focuses our eyes more upon the sea. Gonna start planning out some of my locations here. That is a good spot for a harbour. And that is a good spot for another city. Um, it's a good spot. But this is going to give us some really high yield spots. So the time between turns is going to be pretty massive because I am running a big ass map with basically max civilizations. So we're going to get through it. We're going to survive. Now this, I'm not looking at this floodplains area here and I really want to make that an industrial center. So we'll think about that. Just play it by ear. And a holy site there. That looks decent. Somebody else died. Sucks to be in Europe right now. A made the right choice. Alright, now I'm thinking we're going to send our warrior off. Uh, maybe see if we can potentially find one or two more villages before Maori scouts come and snap everything up. Another one hits the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hits the dust, bites the dust. Whatever it is. The dust ain't having a good day. This is going to be, this is kind of tense actually, because I've, I've, um, I'm playing on the max difficulty and I've decided to play style by buff, buff, buffing up my religion to start with. I am going to uh, have a very late start to the game and I could very easily get overrun by barbarians and that would be straight up embarrassing. What a grand sight this must present in the wet season. Waterfalls in every direction. Ah, uh, wet season. Funny joke. Arthur. Uh, I said, hey, it's a wonderful kind of day. We can learn to work and play. 
and get along with each other. Arthur isn't really who I wanted. The dream would be... Um... Sinbad? Sinbad... Ooh, that storm. What the hell? Storm. Heading straight into the storm. Could be dangerous. Arthur. I think we're going to... We got one turn till astrology, so we're just going to chuck one turn on a slinger. And then we're going to get started. Hey, the Maori. It's got the banging music. Okay, yes, yes, anyway. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius and we're skeptical. Great quote. I mean, not as not as skeptical as Capricorns, uh, uh, obviously. Nice. 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 Um, sailing. We want to get those developed ASAP. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. Just, uh, don't tell the libertarians, okay? Okay, so we are still in military discipline and our soldiers, and we have from our priestly class a god-king who stepped up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, what do we want here? I suppose the dream... Ooh. That's actually... Ooh. Should I delay my first settler to get a galley? That might actually be a really good plan. And it's thematically... Ah, fuck. I forgot to set up my holy site. One turn delayed. There's gonna be a lot of that happening. I am... Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. There ain't no worky. So because that I can get that galley, I probably won't go for foreign trade straight up since I'm going to be buying, not building my galley, which means I can craftsmanship and then go straight for my government center. And maybe I'll have a delayed government center this game. I do want to get this up ASAP. Come on, man. Like... We both live in the sea, like, can't we just get along, like, you know? I like your face tattoos. Yeah, Maori might be causing us problems here. Okay, what do we want here? Relic. Relic is the dream. Builder would be awesome. Money. Money is very handy. Extremely handy, in fact. Okay. Someone else cocked it in Europe. Excellent. Every person that dies, every civilization that takes out, gets taken out, that is uh, my computer going to be running a little bit more smoothly. All right, we want to chuck a city there. That's a really good. Ooh, hello, you could cause some troubles. You could definitely cause some troubles. Yes, inch. Oh, hello. Okay, last one. Last one. And then we got to go back home and do some defense. Okay, okay, okay. He could just march. If he marches a scout down, I could be in big trouble. Like, out the gate. Polita. Polita? Polita. Okay, what did I actually get from that? Join our civilization. Hmm. Don't actually know what I got from that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. 
All right, we want to get back home quick as possible. Oh, we actually got the builder. That is really handy. Okay, you're just going to sleep for now. Hey, another one died. I could have used with a great bath like there or something, but um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it has to go there, maybe. Doesn't matter. Okay, so exactly what I want right here. Turning our eyes outward to the sea, we adopt a pantheon. Those ancient creatures we, disco we discovered depictions of in a tribal village start to form. Our, uh, our pantheon of gods on the first step towards an official religion. And their symbols are incorporated into our new holy site. They really are going hard with the Australian music here. Abu Simdel, that would be a nice one, but honestly, I don't think. Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Fact. Um, we've got our, we've got our, our um, pantheon. So probably switch to urban planning as we start to. Ooh, actually. I want to plug this one in. Maybe I do. No, no, not yet. Because we're going... We're going for religion. I need this to defend. And uh, state workforce, yep, sweet. We're gonna get our first governor up soon. This one delayed by one turn, but should be all right, I think. We're chasing great profit now for context. What do we got? Okay, get back home quick, please. Don't stand on my holy site. Don't pillage it. Please, please, please. Oh, this could be such a, such a, such a dumb plan. Yeah, yeah, go that way. Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. I am definitely in the little boat category here. Got the Maori banger on the BGM. Um, I think my best interest right now is to unlock iron. Another one died. Okay, what's my quickest route home? Don't even think about it, buddy. Maori. Oh no, do 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 do. Oops, I forgot to move my builder. Yeah, I'm gonna forget a lot of shit. Yep, of course he does it. Yep, of course. Of course. Hippolyta.
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Just gonna chuck a turn or two into this one. Oh shit, I also forgot. I'm going to buy... a galley. We're gonna send them up north. We need to get the uh, exploration error score in ASAP. We, um... Basically, my entire strategy hinges on getting the classical era golden age. And also the religion that this guy could mess up. Yep. Yep, good one, buddy. Yep, thanks for that. Man. And it all begins to unravel. Stonehenge. So we've got a religion. Well, we will next turn. Gotcha. One turn to repair. That's not too great a delay. But we are on a high difficulty, so yeah. We've already had a couple of delays by me being dumb. Actually, rather than go for iron, I think I might go for... Oops, skip the little... Keep digging my own grave, falling further and further behind. See, that's the uh, disclaimer I should probably give. I love this game. Doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Let's see what's down here. Asia. Yeah, it's a bit premature to go for iron now, I think. Really, because we're about to go for pop, we really need that second district up as soon as we get our religion up. A strong economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. And it would help, really help a lot, if I would stop forgetting to develop my fisheries. My fishing boats, rather. Oh boy. Turns out talking and playing occupies a little bit of my brain power. A little bit that's left. Alright, we want Liang to start out with because we're going for big stack cities and we've got a kind of a focus on the ocean for our roleplay element. So, yeah. That should hold us in good stead. I think they should, in theory, be able to take them by themselves. Oof. They're about to get that.
probably the Khmer. Khmer always seems to go hard on early uh, holy sites. Hey, we got a promotion! Vietnam. Behold the wonders of heaven and earth. The clear aqua blue serves as a looking glass. Thousands of turquoise crowns tinged with a touch of black. It's a shame it cuts off the voiceover when uh, you discover it like that. The wicked king pursued the lovers Juan and Maria on his swiftest horse. As he overtook them, Maria flung down her ring and at once rose up seven tall hills and the king was slowed. Wow. Maria's a pro gamer. Beowulf. Beowulf. You know, I might buy him if he's still available. Um, after my religion. Alright. Alright. Where are we at? Yep, promotion. That's some good yield for us there. Okay. We don't have the countdown for the age yet. So, in theory, we should be able to get it. Okay, yeah, definitely gonna need you to do backup now. Okay, we got our three fishing boats up. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. God, that first builder here, that was a good that was a good one getting in that early. I'm just going to peek up here, try to discover one or two more sieves. There should be a bit of a cluster around here. But then we really need to get back um, exploring as far as we can before we get our path blocked by a really awkwardly placed city-state, such is always the way. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we really need to stop him from spotting our territory. Because if he gets alerted, he could uh, start an invasion. Got somebody there. Our governor established. Uh, we want writing. Yeah, and then bronze working. Hey! Alright, okay, we need five points. We're gonna get two from discovering a religion, in theory. So if we discover, say, well, like... That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Okay, okay. If we should get... Perhaps Korea? And maybe China? Hey! Like I'm psychic. Like I know basic geography. And I don't know, there could be Mongolia in there. I'd imagine there'd be Mongolia in there. 
Let's go for it. The Empire. We're probably not going to get the boost for that. But it is our choice. We need to go for um, our first government civ ASAP. I'm saying ASAP a lot lately. <sighs> He's alerted. Now we need to stop him. Okay, I'm just going to just going to raise this. Oh, I didn't factor that in. Yeah, we've 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 hit our we've hit our golden age. Beautiful. How are we doing? Okay, in theory, we should get the next religion. We might not get our first choice of policies, but um, yeah, it should be good. It should be good. It should work. The important thing is those faith points. That is what is going to drive us. Our expansion in the next age. Yep, you need to go down. You need to go down. We're just going to have him hover around here. We don't want to explore anymore because we don't want any more error score immediately. How are we doing? Okay, well, we could leave that for eight turns and get it, but... Oh, they're going nine per... Oh, Jesus, they just boosted. Whew. Okay, we're doing one more. In for a penny, in for a pound. This could get rough. No, don't care about you. Need to box him in. So we're just going to hang out by the chocolate hills, have some chocolate, um, courtesy of Maria, who outsmarted the wicked king. On you, Maria. Or as the Romans might say, Ave Maria. Okay, okay, keep boxing them in, keep boxing them in. You skip your turn for now. Me v Vietnam now. I guess I gotta fight him. Hopefully the... This guy really needs to die. If he moves there, I can probably box him into this area. Yeah, alright, alright. And that promotion is what I need. I wonder if I should name my dudes. I've never really done that before. How do you do it? You can name him, can't you? It's a way to do it. I don't know, maybe I'll look that up later. I thought there was a way to name your individual soldiers. Maybe that was a Civilizations 5 thing. Maybe it's a mod thing. Alright, what you gonna do? Okay, three more turns. Um, this one's probably better early game. Even though I am getting a few ranged units popping up. It should be fine. I 
Okay, they don't have many more options now. But hopefully get the kill next turn, unless they move here. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Ah, uh, Mark Twain, what a troll. Nothing is easy, all you have to do is cut out the wrong words. My name is Mark Twain. Okay, let's go for bronze working. We need to boost our economy, and we're going to do that by becoming international arms dealers. Nice, we got Confucius. Nice, nice, nice. Um, do we build Hippolyta? Do we go for the campus? We really need some soldiers to defend ourselves a little bit better, but that campus is really important. Like, look how far behind in tech we're falling behind everyone already. It's a uh, serious business. All right. Um, make a call. Make a call. Just pull the trigger. Polita. Maybe we'll discover a better guy. After early empire, we'll plug in increased training. Increased unit training. By that point, our campus will be up. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yep. Actually, good thing I bought um, I bought uh, mining before, so I can build this now. Okay, so our class of void singers now elevates themselves by their investigation into the sea and the stars. They begin to worship the sites surrounding the Great Barrier Reef. And the great rock of Uluru as holy places and we begin a formal religion typified by the icon of the octopus you worship the old ones we have the world's first Cthulhu cult nothing could possibly go wrong Okay, this is what I want. Okay, what have we got? I don't want a meeting houses, but that's not going to happen. Ecumenical council could be good. Stupa could be good. But I think we might go for Godwara as a... Um, we work hard to please the old ones, and we distribute the bounty of the ocean among our people. So real talk, if you're like ever in a situation where you're struggling to feed yourself, like you're a student or whatever, and you're lucky enough to have a Sikh temple in your local area, if you turn up there, they will feed you. A good wire, it's like, uh, I probably going to get the details destru destructively, disgracefully wrong, but a good wire, it's like a religious kitchen. They have been feeding everyone who turns up, regardless of faith, regardless of background. They've been doing that way for hundreds of years. It is, um, yeah, pretty cool, if I may say so myself. God damn it, Coupe. Like, I just want to be your friend. Uh, 
Hey, yeah. Gotcha. You can pull back to heal. I forget what this instrument is called. Um, uh oh. I think my guy is all right. Yeah. He was in the swamp. He was fine. Okay, beautiful. So as I was saying, I don't know what this instrument is called, um, but I've played like the Korean variant of it, called like a Kayangum or something like that. It's actually really cool. It was, um, it's like playing the black keys on a piano. It's sort of hard to not sound good. They've just managed to get that, um, they really use a friendly scale. Oh yes, now that I got my new age, I can actually start expanding. Settler number one. I think... Ooh, we're gonna have enough to buy another one next turn if we so wish. Just cause we can, should we? Someone else got Hippolyta, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Cool story, bro. Well, at least he doesn't hate us. Go build a holy city. Well, not a holy city literally, but a culturally important city. Indonesia. Okay, what are we aiming for next? We're probably going to need a builder up soon ish. We really need more soldiers. Um, yeah, definitely need more soldiers. Builder could really help. Hey, you go for them, not me. Hmm. Oh. Okay. That's a man at arms. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, well, we're going to need archers up soon. Definitely need more soldiers. Boy. Do not mock me with this jolly music. I am, I am terrified right now. Oh man, deity difficulty doesn't fuck around. Is he just gonna... It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. I hear the barbarians coming. 
I hear them coming. Oh man, my heart is beating so hard in my chest right now. Let's just let's play let's play a nice easy strategic game to to unwind. Um In for a penny, in for a pound. We 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 got to do it. We got to we got to we got to we got to put our money where our mouth is. The old ones will protect us. Okay, now old ones, protect us. I've, I've I've just been talking you up. You got it. You got it. You got to pull through for me, man. I'm 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 hanging on by a thread here. Oof. Maybe I can discourage him. Maybe he'll see how pitiful my attack was and uh, leave me in peace. That's a thing that could happen, right? Oh man, my heart is in my mouth right now. Okay, two turns, we'll build our second. Get political philosophy up. If need be, we'll go oligarchy to make our dudes a little stronger. But yeah, we need... we need archers. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy. Because bronze will last for thousands of years. Will I last for thousands of years? Hey, he didn't attack. Who's this? Ooh, Chandra Gupta. I think I know who's going to be a major player. I mean, look at this guy. What a chad. City walls. But I don't want to just defend. I don't want city walls because I don't want to just defend. I want to be able to expand. Can't forget. Next turn settler. Next turn settler. Get out of here. No one wants you. Yeah, yeah, we need soldiers. We need soldiers. Ugh, let's just focus on religion at the start of the game. I am playing myself so hard. Beaman for defense. I think that could be a good play. Three turns or another slinger. We do need that builder soon. Hmm, I don't know.
Yeah, I really don't know. I got no answer to this guy. Like, what business has he been, has he got being here, like, so early? That's, that's, that's insane. I'm so salty. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Don't tempt fate. You again. Okay, archery. Oh, my mouth is so dry. I'm legit scared here. Yep, he's going off to alert. Man, Jesus Christ. What have I got? I got nothing. I can't chase him down. I can't. I forgot to build my saddler. Where can I even send them? I wanted to send them here, but this is going to be pretty dangerous. I might have to start fleshing out this coastline here. We want to get here. We want to get here, though. Fulfills our second religious component, the stars. We've got the sea here. You gotta, you gotta. About to be facing a barbarian invasion. For which we may have no answer for. Yes, I guess we go down and settle Melbourne. Legitimately about to get ruffle stomped. All right. So let's start getting some archers now. Did I just... May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Inshallah. Yeah, claimed by Coupe. Yeah, I thought so. That's a shame. That would have been a game changer. Could do with a Persian Golden Age right about now. Saladin. Okay, okay. Yep, maybe I shouldn't have thrown that slinger away like that. Doesn't matter. We can turn this around. I think.
At least he's not attacking the city. Um, what do we want? I guess we want... Well, first of all, we want that. And we want a builder. But first we need our archers. Let's go for city walls, since... Shit might be about to get crazy. Just, just, you know, just saying. Oof. Let me just check something real quick. Hey, nice. Vermiris also follows the uh, old gods or void singers or whatever. Jesus. Why? What have I done to deserve this? Get out of my way, Sinbad. Sinbaddy. Yep, we are about to be in big trouble. Christ! Bad turn. Oh yeah. You know what? I think she might... She might... Yeah, she might be my salvation here. Like, but for real, doesn't this guy give off like Gendo Akari energy? Get in the, get in the Ava Shinji. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, we got Melbourne up. Let's just start. We might have to switch to city walls. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Cope harder. Yeah, strength 42. Not the strongest. Six charges, that helps. Okay, that's one down. Maybe I should go up the channel here. Might be able to catch a peek at um Yeah, I might be able to get a peek at like uh like Egypt or something. They've got a little cluster of world wonders around there. Oh, I didn't get Oya. Each of us is carving a stone, erecting a column. 
or cutting a piece of stained glass in the construction of something much bigger than ourselves. I mean, he's right. Can I come through? Ah, oh, you bastard. I'm not giving you that. What about 15? We accept that. Okay. Alright, I'm that's good enough. Go through here. Fifteen for you two. Is this really worth it? Probably is. I'm probably just going to reach like here or something and get, get blocked by Zanzibar. So yeah, I'd end up doing it anyway. Well, so much for Oya. So much for my salvation. I guess we just keep stacking archers. We need, we need that, we need that so badly. How long until a builder? Three turns. Okay, two archers. Two archers and a warrior can in theory defend. But we need... All right, we're going to do it. We're going to make what could be the next in a long series of bad decisions. So we're going to do it. Let's go multi Q. After the archer, I want you to do the walls. Yeah. Why do they have men at arms? Not a good idea anymore. I'm to have walls for you six turns. How much for our next settler? One ninety five. Okay. I'd really love to get a Golden Age next turn as well, because I don't even have any shrines up. Would like to be making more faith. These barbarians are kicking my ass, though. 
Yeah, there you go. What can I do about that? Like, nothing. Like, yeah. Just done. About to get that pillaged. Venetia. Another sea going folk. Like to the apples on the Dead Sea's shore, all ashes to the taste. I can relate. Oh, hello. Hello. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Shh. Ah, still not going my way. Well, at least some of these guys are failing uh, nearly as hard as I am. I guess some early crossbows would be the dream about now. Sun Wukong. Got two turns for it to fuck up. I really need that holy side up. Alright, that's the plan. Holy sight, and then sun will come. I really like the uh, legend of sun will come. I sort of, um, I'm tempted to go into some like uh, content of talking about world mythologies and such, and sun will come is like right up there. It's probably number two of what I'd like to do. The whole story is essentially like a uh, Buddhist propaganda. About how the gods of China were defeated by a mere monkey. But on top of that, it is just a downright really cool story. Yeah, I know, rubbing it in. I am indeed clawing in the dirt. Three archers. If I could clear that one, that would be good. Sun Wukong will be able to help a lot. What's my path to crossbowmen?
Alright, after Sun Wukong, we want to build a... I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic now. So we're going to make some big moves. Come on, monkey magic. I literally cannot catch a break. If I hadn't repaired that, I'd have him. What a fun time. Remember how I was talking about how this is my favorite game? Well, I don't know if it's about my favorite, but... Definitely one of my tops. Top three or so. Oh. Gotta move my feet. I was like mashing my toes into the carpet, like nearly breaking them from all the stress. Yep. I was literally thinking, if I move there, it's going to reveal another man-at-arms, and then I'm going to be fucked. I really got no... I really got nothing except archers at this point. Spearmen, they're just going to roll over. Love to see it, hate to be it. As it turns out, Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled, so I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. Ugh. Disgusting. One star Google review. Having to talk to people. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love to touch grass. The grass ain't people. Let's just go back on walls for the moment. Finish up iron working. Maybe he'll stay there. Maybe he won't follow me. Everything has its limit. Iron ore cannot be educated into gold. Not with that attitude. Kaka Zulu. Now there's a scary ass man. 
He controlled more territory than the British Empire ever did. They called him the Black Napoleon. Madagascaria? Huh. Madagascar is a continent? Okay, I guess you learn something new every day. It totally isn't a continent though. Just, they just decided to do that. Okay, okay, we're getting ahead back in the game. All right. This is the turning point. Pray to the old ones. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. Signe is a 250 square mile tiger trap made up of massive obelisks riddled with jagged spears. And yes, they will cut your pretty face. Rude. All right. Let's see if we can negotiate an open borders with Zulu. Very much appreciated, sir. Try to get this one cleared. Okay, what do we need? What do we need? Engineering, construction, horseback riding. Well, we have a pasture potentially in our future. Still got three charges on that boy. Four archers, I might be able to play clever with them. I like how I'm literally on level with the people who are about to get conquered. Two turns, I'm going to build another settler here. Maybe I should build. No, I'm going to build the settler here. And we're going to try to push for here. Twenty-eight, twenty-five. One turn, I get political philosophy. I think I should probably... Library or Shrine. I guess the more I expand, the better at the moment. If I can't get in here, I can always get in here. And I also want to get here. As long as I don't lose this guy this turn, I should be sitting relatively pretty. I do need more soldiers though. I gotta play very smart with these four.
Politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. Typical liberal. I mean, he's right, though. Um, Classical Republic would be good. So this would be handy for the melee units, but I don't have any at the moment. Um, except for the boat. This one... That would give me plus one to all my yields in my capital. Um, I mean, this one and this one are one and the same in terms of the policy policies I'm going to put in. Um, so... Plus one housing and amenity, or plus one all yields. Alright. Influenced by the anxiety and stresses of war and defending ourselves on the northern front from the raging barbarians who drove us to cross the river in the first place. Our people. Slip... Uh, um... We are drawn to support autocratic policies and leaders. Yeah, that's that's the deal. All right, we need some money. I'll take it. Take it. Um, I'll take it. We literally just need money. Just selling open borders to everybody. Alright, that'll do. Should keep us alive a little longer. Yep, we need that cleared. I forgot this has the, um, yeah, the grab surrounding tiles for pastures. Maybe, maybe military tradition is the go. Get that flanking and support bonus. Oh, I don't know if these guys, like, even can get it. Come on, attack me, attack me, attack me, attack me. Don't plunder it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <sighs> hey, don't... You're not doing so great either. Yeah, 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 I'm trying. I'm feeling a little bit more secure now. Two more. I want the whales.
You jump in there for healing. And base defense. It's impressive I've been able to get this far, truth be told. Normally I encounter, like, somebody in my way who won't give me right of way, won't let me pass, or whatever. Oh, we need to get our next, next, we need to get our next settler out, next settler out. Very important. Three turns. Yeah, we're going to wait three turns. Maybe not the most efficient uh, decision, but it'll do. You can make another builder. Gonna make Brisbane unhappy, but hey, Brisbane's always unhappy. It's because they're in Brisbane. Can't turn up that 12. Yeah. Alright, another builder. So now we can just build a quarry. Okay, we got a bit of money coming in now. And we're six away. So if we clear two more barbarian outposts, we will be sitting pretty. In theory. Depends how close they are to our borders. If we can get around the Horn of Africa, I don't we'll... underrate the value of military. Not nine turns. Okay, this is gonna be close. Anything else I could do to boost my error score? Yeah, I don't think there is, hey. I'm just gonna go as hard as I can in nine turns. See how we end up. That library going. Um. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not even going to argue with her because I think she's right. Okay, settler next turn. Settler next turn. Don't forget it like everything else you forget. A man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically bigger than a man on foot. What do we got? Okay, okay. This could work. This could definitely work. Okay, that one and that one. They're the sweet spots. We'll go for this one. Oh yeah, that's a good fishery. Now the question is, for our next district here, should we go Government Plaza or Harbour? Harbour would help our growth. I like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. Yep, that's a, that's a mood. Twenty-four per turn. I can afford four of that for my uh, for my archers. So I'm going to plug that one in just to help me make some more fisheries. Love to see it. Means I must be getting close to the the nose of Africa, if you will. Okay, I think we're in with a very good shot. Um, yep, guess what? I forgot. Yep, yep. There we go. What's our next one at? 235. Alright. I'll see him. I could have used that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, whatever. We need sixty four for the next one. I'm just going to hang out here for the moment. Yeah, yeah. I've heard it all before. Oh, I'm finally starting to de-stress after that that uh, that rather traumatic start. Five turns. Yeah, we're good. We got this. Yeah, easy, easy game.
Oh yeah, we do need some obelisks. That will definitely help with our expansion, but... Yeah, we're going faith. We're going faith. The old ones deliver. Trust in the old ones. Okay, time to sell some more iron, I think. How much are you give me for some diplomatic favor? Might wait until next era, possibly. I think it goes up in value in the medieval. Nice. Got the era. Got the golden age means you should probably hang out there for a couple of turns. You keep exploring. Oh, nice yield. And then head down there. We might keep that luxury for ourselves because our cities are pretty unhappy. Happiness is going to be a problem. It's going to be a consistent problem for our civilization. They're going to become relatively unproductive. Uh, no, thank you. I do not need another conflict on my hands, though I appreciate the sentiment and I like that you you're friendly towards me. That's right, you are just hanging out there. Right, what now? Walls, granary, those two will give me boosts. Um, a trader. A trader could be a good idea. What about another boat? Are you still offering boats? 155. I could get that in three turns. A 
This sounds like not a bad idea, actually. So we will go... Then a watermill. Maybe walls, then a harbour. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? Things are starting to look up. Melbourne's relatively happy with that. We're going to actually need, I think... A missionary very soon to make that and that productive. Well, not very, very soon. We could probably afford to hold off on it. Maybe one for one more settler. We'll get cans. Set your course by the stars, not by the lights of every passing ship. Yes, sir, I will. Thank you, thank you. Yep, monumentality again. Brilliant. Nice. Get a head start on our air score. Um, have you rest for now? This place could get is very vulnerable to barbarian attack. I'm quite aware of that. But everything's going to take a billion years to make, so we really need this one. Oh, we got a new Void Singer policy. That's actually, yeah. Next Void Singer policy is very important. It's pretty much central to our strategy. Let's go with this. means that that will get me um, obelisks up quicker. Hopefully he didn't activate the camp. 
be awkward if he did. So let's get that second galley up. Archers there. Our men at arms there. We can clear that now. We've got our two galleys. We'll just duck down here, check out the coast of Tasmania, make sure there aren't going to be any uh, barbarian ships spawning there. Raiding our lucrative fishing industry, the gifts of the old ones. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. Don't care. We need to get there ASAP. Maybe we even send him without healing. Well, we can send you there to clear that one. You can go down south. You stay there. now. So I think we're actually starting to sit in a relatively good position. Georgia. Byzantium. towards the storm. Okay, Tasmania is all good. Means we could actually settle there since we're about to get a uh, shipbuilding. Reserve do anything for us, potentially. But no. Um, Baba. Government Plaza. Okay, let me think about what I actually want to do here. So that's going to be the site of Adelaide. And so then we're going to have this one here. So if I chuck a aqueduct here, that will give me adjacency for a industrial zone. Yes. Big chunky industrial zone. Or, actually, let me think about this. Let me think about this. I could chuck a dam there. So then I get industrial zone there, industrial zone so Adelaide's industrial zone there, Melbourne's industrial zone there, 
Um, Brisbane's. No, 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 okay. Adelaide's industrial zone there. Brisbane's. There. Melbourne's there. Sydney's there. And then for good measure, we can chuck another aqueduct in there. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. Nice. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to work towards now? So we're going to get shipbuilding. Um, maybe we should just go straight for this line here. Though, oh, we're going to get swamped. We're going to get swamped. We're going to need crossbowmen. We're going to reach a point very soon where we're going to need crossbowmen. So, I got a multi queue, a water mill, and then a harbour. Yeah, like that. Let's clear all this away. Oh, everybody's going to war with Korea. I wonder what they did. Well, they're looking pretty damn strong. So I think they'll be right to defend themselves. Not quite at the point in the game I really want to get into the whole geopolitics yet. Um, other than obviously selling weapons. Speaking of, I should think about my next oh boy. Yep, I'm gonna need need that repaired. So, what is, an asset, is a building going to cost me? 170. It's a few turns away. Can we get there quicker? And just out of curiosity, what did you give me for this? That's pretty tempting. That is pretty tempting, not going to lie. some walls there just in case. Going to need open borders from you. Yeah, that's good enough. 
Wow, I might actually make it all the way to Europe. Which will help with my air score quite a bit. Let's see, what are our amenities like? Maybe we should. Let's just see. Um, yep, yeah, sell to you. I like you more. Yeah, minus two amenities. Any more than that, and I feel like we might be in trouble. I don't really know the precise maths on some that. Uh, something I should probably look into. Because we need money, 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 money. I've got an autocratic government. I care more about money than my people being happy. This is uh, problematic. I can't imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. Modern shipbuilding has gone beyond that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Captain the Titanic. What a great quote. Need you over quick as possible. Maybe I can distract them with this. Shit's happening now. We, we, this turn, we should be able to afford a builder. He can get up and fix that, and then we're probably going to aim to get that one up. Yeah. Water, water everywhere nor any drop to drink. That's from a poem called The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. It's a pretty cool poem, actually. Like a, like a, like a fever dream after drinking too much seawater. I mean, well, literally, that is actually what it's about. Okay, well, now we need to contain this. Hey, Adrada, my boy. My boy. Should do a playthrough as him sometime. On this map, too. One man's magic is another man's engineering. All the world's a stage. And all the men and women merely players. 
They have their entrances and their exits, and one man in his time plays many parts. Okay... Do I want to mix things up? Let's just take a look. How many scientist points am I actually earning? Compared to everyone else, not much. Uh, we'll keep that one in, because we're still expanding. We're still expanding. Alright, you move in for the kill. You chase down the stragglers. I think they should be okay now, in theory. Yeah, yeah, we'll take care of that. Okay, machinery. So we're probably going to go machinery, buttress, military tactics, cartography. Then we're going to chase down military engineering. Oh, I didn't need the water mill. I misread. Yeah. All right. Oh, I nearly got the water mill anyway. That's cool. And just to double check, next settler is at 235, which is two turns away. Now, theology will get me out my temple, which I really need, but I do really also need this governor title. I'm going to value the governor title more because that will give me science and culture. Well, it looks like we're hitting about the two hour mark here, so... Perhaps I should uh, end it for this video here right now. We've actually gotten ourselves into a pretty decent situation after fighting back. After fighting off a pretty deadly early game men-at-arms barbarian attack. So, we shall say that in our story so far, our people, following the call of the Old Ones, built their powerful capital of Sydney here at the banks of the river where they bring in the uh, voluminous bounties of the sea. Spreading north to Brisbane where they seek to understand the spiritual aspects of the, three, of the sea through the locus of the Great Barrier Reef culturally significant people and upon the top of Uluru the astronomers of Wailuna gaze towards the stars the desert providing the clearest skies possible and from the top of the great rock they feel as if they touch the stars themselves down to the south a small settlement of Melbourne dedicated to enhancing learning and closing in on what is to become a major industrial center. After clawing their way back from a dire situation, they still have many enemies and they are still far from becoming masters of Terra Australis, let alone of the world. But, bit by bit, they take control of their own destinies. 
All right, that's it for me. Uh, thank you so much. I shall be playing some more of this. I absolutely adore this game. I can just waste a whole day on it. But it is getting late for me, if you can see uh, up here. Um, well, not that late. Maybe I'll record another one. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how I feel after a meal. Well, maybe a shower. All right, I'm rambling now. <clears throat> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, magpies and magpets. I have no idea what that is. Swoop, swoop. You have a great evening.